Do you want me to call for him? Well, where is he? Oh. Come on in! How was the drive? Oh, okay. We hired this 18-year-old actress as a decoy, here pretending to be a 12-year-old alone in our undercover so house. The man who's coming to visit her is 29-year-old James Cisneros. His screen name is too graphic to say on television. Almost right off the bat, Cisneros asks an apparent 12-year-old online, You like sex? <laughs> Who doesn't? Me too. You want to hang out tonight, if you're not busy? She tells Cisneros that he can't come over now because her mother is home. Oh, can you sneak off late tonight? And we can get a hotel and I'll drop you off and you sneak back in. What for? Sex. You heard that right. He wants to take someone he thinks is a 12-year-old to a hotel for sex. But the decoy won't budge, so Cisneros gives in and shows up at the house. So I made a drink. I don't know if you want to try it or not. It's Kool-Aid. Is this regular Kool-Aid? Yeah. <laughs> oh. And he comes prepared. Right. So what are you doing? Did you bring condoms? Yeah. That's Sweet. Where do you want to go? place? Where do you want to go? Just anywhere? Doesn't matter. So why don't you take a taste of the drink there? Please have a seat. Why? Have a seat. No. I'm Chris Hansen. Yeah. And I want to ask you some questions. Please have a seat. No. What are you doing up here today? Chill. Chill. Yeah. And who were you here to meet? Her. Her. Have a good time. And how old is she? I don't know. She never told me. She never told you. She never told me. But as I refresh his memory with his own online chat, Cisneros decides our interview is over. They point something out to you. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults who meet kids on the internet. The Long Beach police takes his narrows to their processing center. It was, it was just sex. That's it. It wasn't. You don't think about the age. You just think about doing. It. Sergeant Lee DeBraybander of the Long Beach Police. He knows what he did was wrong, but he has this overriding problem in his mind, and he needed to fill that need. Later, Cisneros pleaded no contest to an attempted lewd act upon a child. 